Hello and welcome back to my channel. Make certain to hit the like and subscribe button and ring that notification bell for updates on videos like this and many others. In the intro, you saw me walking into the post office because we are talking about the subjectiveness of artwork. Now, many of you may recall that some months ago, I painted a, a large painting, a very large painting, and my friend loved it so much, so I'm sending it to her, and I am so thrilled that she loves it. So, artwork is subjective. In another conversation, I was talking with another friend of mine, about music and she asked me about well what do you think of this and what do you think of this and I said oh I like this performer and she said yeah but it reminds me of some things in my own life I was going through so I don't know how well I can I can like this person's music and that got me to thinking because music and art any sort of uh, creative endeavor can bring you back to a place and time that due to current circumstances, may change in the future. You may find songs that you did like that you don't like anymore because they remind you of, of times that you went through. Or you may find artwork that once revolts you that later you go, actually, I kind of like this because you're in a different place in a different time. My mother was born in 1939 and there was a cartoon of Betty Boop meeting the Hatfields. And my mother absolutely hated that cartoon. She hated it with a passion, and I couldn't understand. Well, when I was old enough to understand and to ask her, she said to me that when she saw that cartoon of Betty Boop going into the Hatfield camp, it reminded her of when she herself grew up poor, and she could suddenly smell the mold and the decay and the unwashed bodies and she could hear the creaks and the floorboards and she could feel the lumps in her mattress. Artwork is subjective. And for me, there is artwork that many people find to be absolutely breathtaking and for me it has an adverse effect. One such image would be that of a crucifix. A crucifix to many is a sign of veneration, it is a sign of peace, it is a sign of a great gift. But to me, no matter how great of artwork that it may be, for me, when I look at a crucifix, I feel revulsed. Because it is a symbol of torture, it is a symbol of a scapegoat, which goes against the principles of Satanism. Satanism has you to take responsibility for all of your actions, positive and negative. And this one, for me, I look at it and it makes me, it makes me sick because it goes in the face of everything that I believe. Take responsibility for your action. In Belgium, at St. Paul's Cathedral, in 1842 and 1843, two brothers installed two not so very different statues in this cathedral of the statue of Lucifer. One was removed because it was too seductive. He was beautiful and he had his legs ever so slightly apart and had a serpent winding up the rock. This was looked upon as a sin for the good Christian girls who should be focusing on their prayers. So they removed the statue, hired the brother, and then he in turn created an even more seductive Lucifer. Now, the original is actually in the uh, Belgian Museum of Art, so you can see both the original and the one that replaced it in If You Ever Make a Trip to Belgium, or you can just look right here in the pictures that I am putting up for you right now. Now, I am an art collector myself. This painting of me is present in most of my videos, and I really love it. Some people come in and they go, oh, 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 you have the devil, oh, 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 it's you as the devil, why? Well, I love it, but it came about really in kind of a funny way. So I was going out for the evening and I thought, why not? I'm going to put on some horns. I love it. It's so much fun. A friend of mine said, this is gorgeous. You have to let me take a picture. I said, no. She said, trust me. I said, okay, take the picture. 
And then I did actually love it. I ended up by really loving that picture, so much so that I put it on my postcards. And then, uh, I mean, my, my business cards. And I was doing the Adams Family model, and I needed a picture. It was on the card, it was the exact size. Sometime later, I loved it so much I had the, this picture commissioned. That's sort of the Reader's Digest version of this. But I wanted to show you some of my other artwork. And um, this one, this one you meet him frequently. This is my friend, the devil, and I love him so much. He dates from the 1930s, and um, when I saw him, I just fell in love. My friend Tony said, you have to buy th this puppet because I love him, you love him, and I, I can see that spark in your eye, the spark that I haven't seen in a long time. And he was right. I had to buy this beautiful, 80-some-year-old puppet. In a previous video about Ouija boards, someone asked me about this fellow right here. Isn't he beautiful? I think he's beautiful. He is hand-carved, and he dates from the 1930s from Mexico. He is used to frighten away negative spirits. This one that you're looking at right here is from Dory who did the illustrations in Paradise Lost, and it depicts a scene in hell. This is Hell Up To Date, which is a modernized version of Dante's Inferno. This is an 1890 copy. It's missing the cover, but the pictures are stunning. It's a tale of a man in the 19th century who's a businessman. He's going in to talk about how great these new cities are, and he finds himself, you guessed it, in hell. I have many other things. I also have a statue of Baphomet, whom is on my altar, and I love him. He just makes me smile. I also have other gods. I have Hanuman represented. I have Zeus. I do have the female Buddha in one of my domes that I built, and I just love them. The thing about artwork is that it is subjective to your own taste, and I say life is precious. Life is short. It doesn't matter what other people think of your artwork, whether you like it or not, because you're the one that has to live with it. So if you want to spray paint your furniture purple, I might find it questionable, but as long as you are happy. And make certain you check out my Patreon page. You don't want to miss this month in our haunted house. And it's viewers like you who have made channels like this a possibility. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. As always, I have been your host, Richard Lale Lillard, The Gentleman Psychic. Thank you, until next time. Love to you. I'm too sexy. I'm too sexy. I'm too sexy, you removed me from your church. So sexy, I heard. I'm a model. Like and subscribe.